Hi guys, welcome to my channel today and thank you for joining me. So today I'm going to make a little snippet roll just so I can cut up and put on the sides of some of my pages in my journal. I've just picked out some bits of fabrics that I thought I could use. I've got all them at the side of me. I've got some ribbons and some threads and just different bits and pieces. Um, I'm going to use this. I've had this for, oh, somebody gifted it me. Um, ribbon and it's red on one side and green on the other so I'm going to use this to make my snippet roll onto uh, how long do I want it I don't want tons I think I'm going to do two small ones rather than one big one because I'm going to cut them up straight away anyway so let's have two pieces yeah it's nice to use that it's a 50 yards I'll never use that in my lifetime probably but yeah it's nice to use so let's make a start then and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put just a tiny bit of glue on because I'm going to stitch them so let's make a start then what should we put down first um, let's just have some I've got red at the bottom let's have a bit of this green these are all just bits and stuff pieces that I've picked up from charity shops just bits of fabrics and yeah um, I don't think it'll fit this will it too Oh yeah it will. Just start off with some bits and pieces. Right, let's put a bit of glue down then. What have I done with my glue? Oh it's here, I've turned it upside down. Yeah, I'm just going to put little bits of glue on because I am going to stitch them. So I'm just going to start off and just stick them down. I don't know whether it's of any interest but I just thought I'd turn the camera on while I was making them. Okay, let's put a bit more down here. I don't want too much glue on because I don't want to put my sewing it through my sewing machine with tons of glue on. Like that. And then a piece down here. I just thought it's a nice way to use some of this ribbon up because I've got tons of it. Uh, what did I do with that other little piece? Oh, this glue. It's very stringy, isn't it? Right, let's have some other bits and pieces. Let's have some of this. Just all scrappy bits of fabrics, guys, that have just... Some Most of these have come from clothes. Uh, bits from charity shops and some from clothes that I've cut up. And, yeah, I just keep... I'll trim the edges when I've finished. I don't want to put too much glue on. Yeah, I cut up all the children's old clothes and <laughs> whatever I can get my hands on that was red and green. And then I've picked up like napkins from um, charity shops in different places yeah I always look in the fabric bit to see if there's any bits I can use and there's no method to it I'm just sticking down as you can see I'm not thinking about it I'm just sticking fabric down oops I probably won't even use all this in my journal but if I make it then it's done in case I want to use it on my other one as well. I should have filled my glue up before I turned the camera on. Oh, wrong piece. What did I do with that other piece? There it is. Yeah, there's no right and wrong way to make a snippet roll. Just do it however you want to do it. Um, let's have another piece of that. Oops, we're sticking to stuff here now. Ugh. And you can put paper, you can do them with paper if you want to do them with paper. You don't have to use fabrics if you've not got any fabrics. Just use your scrapbooking papers or your papers that you've got printed off, your digi kits, yeah. Use whatever you've got. Right, let's have some of this. Oh, God, 
it's very messy. <laughs> On here, could have used my um, thingy or glue, really. Uh, what do you call it? Glue stick because I'm only putting bits on because I'll just scruffily stitch right through the middle and that on, yeah, with my sewing machine. It's like that. Um, what else have I got? Some of this lovely, this was a something I picked up in a charity shop and um, it was a dressing up costume and I seen it and I thought oh that is lovely that would be lovely for clusters and snippets but you can't rip it it's quite um it's beautiful it's a bit like Indian sari it's lovely oh come on glue I should have put some more in it before I started there like that and then let's have a piece on here oh dear me I'm getting myself in a tangle with the glue <laughs> I'll have to give it half an hour to dry before I put it through my sewing machine come on I think I'm going to get one out and fill it up it's driving me crackers Oops, I've got all bits of fibre stuck to my fingers. <laughs> there we go. Is that one supposed to be on there? Let's just put some more glue in the middle of it. I will trim them down. I don't like them too overhanging. Let's put a bit more of this. Just try and fill in your gaps. And like I said, I'll stitch it. That piece at the end. And then another piece down here. Oh, I'm stuck up with fibres and all sorts, guys. My fingers are a mess. Oh, dear me. I am messy. Let's just cut that little bit off the bottom of it. Right, let's put some of that on here. Uh, where's it gone? I was hoarding this, believe it or not. Isn't that silly when you buy stuff to use from a charity shop and I'm hoarding it? Yeah, it was it was like a dressing up outfit and I thought, what beautiful colours. I can definitely do something with that. Like I said, I'm not putting too much glue on because I'm going to really, sti sti really stitch it down well so it doesn't come up. Right, uh, what else do I want? Let's have a bit of this cream lace. Let's bring a bit of lace in. In fact, I've got some red lace somewhere as well get that dig that out let's just put a little bit of this on just a couple of pieces piece there I wish I'd have used my glue stick now piece there and a piece down here am I off camera there guys can you see I don't zoom in too much because sometimes I do it too much and then I'm on it's hard to watch I'm on top of the camera right let's put a bit of that on there this will be a quick video for a change nice way to use all your bits and pieces isn't it your little scrappy bits of fabric that sit in baskets if you're anything like me forever and a day let's put that on there put a bit up here I'm 
come on. Just put a little bit of that there. Right, where is that? Um, I'm looking up, I've got some red lace somewhere. What have I done with that now? Um, bear with me guys, I'm just mooch. Oh, it's here. I've got it. This again was another top I picked up in a charity shop. I always look at the reduced rails for, you know, anything lacy or anything like that because they're great for snippets and clusters and that, just for embellishing with. In fact, I've put that on the wrong way. Let's put it that way. I will have to leave it that way now. Um, Yeah, always have a look in your charity shops when you're out shopping if you can pick up any bits of lacy fabric that you can use for doing things like this with. I always do. I always pick up bits and pieces. Um, let's put some on here. Some down here. And you can see I'm not pressing them down like really hard because um, I'm going to stitch them. Let's get some more of that. I've got some bits here, let's use them bits. I'm not going to put too much on because I don't want it very dimensional. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Let's put a little bit down here. Like that. Oh, strings. Right, what else have I got? Um, I've got some green lace. Let's put a little bit of that on. Again, this was a top I picked up that I've cut up. Um, where should we put you? It's nice, but it's very messy, fiddly fingers are covered in glue. Right, so I'm going to put, I'm not going to put anything else on there. I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm just going to add this bit of lace onto here. And then I will I'll let it dry for half an hour. I'll turn the camera off and when it's dry I'll stitch it and then I'll come back on and cut it up and show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm sure you've all seen snippet rolls haven't you before. Right I think I've got enough on there. So what I'll do then guys is I'll pause the camera for half an hour just let the glue dry then I'll sew it and then I'll come back. So I'm back. What I did I left my snippet roll to dry for an hour before I went through with the sewing machine so I've just scruffily stitched all over the snippets to hold it together made up I used that ribbon and finally found a use for it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up into little pieces because I don't want them too big on journal pages so I'm just going to snip them just going to trim some of the edges off that are a bit uneven that one yeah and then I'm just going to snip into them and just I can use them on pages I'm going to put something on the front of them I think so I've only got one two let's just trim that little bit of fabric off there I mean, if you want it you can leave it all hanging over I'm going to leave that lace hanging over um, yeah I'm going to leave them like that so let's just trim that bit of lace off there one two three four five six let's just get rid of that cotton so we've got six off that one and let's just trim this one is there anything that needs trimming at the back let's just trim this down a little bit Okay, let's just put that there and let's trim this down then. One, two, three, four. So 
we've got six so we've got 12 little snippets little snippety pieces that we've made just from using scraps and bits and pieces so I think I want to put something on the front of them and um, I've got some Christmas flowers uh, let's have a look what we can put on just put them on there yeah turned out okay haven't they and I'll just um, glue them to the pages on my in my journal I might put some on some pockets and different things right let's put them scissors away then I don't use them on my paper oh goodness me I couldn't think of the word so I've got these little holly embellishments so let's have a couple of these these are all for to do my December daily with but if we just put a couple on how many have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve so if we do four uh, no let's do three three with holly what else have I got I've got some of these little toppers here I can get into them um, let's do one two of them I'm going to save them poncetto ones for my other journal I think I've got some smaller ones I've got some of these little holly wreaths just put into them put one of them on one of them they're nice, a uh, biggish one, which one should we go on, that one there, you can go on there uh, and then I've got some smaller paper flowers here, we'll have a couple of these oh that's all one, I thought there were two stuck together we'll put them on there uh, what else, I've got some little bows, maybe a little red bow on one of them did I press record? Yeah. Oh, I didn't remember pressing the record button then. Right, let's put a little red bow on one of them. Or a couple of them. Put that one there. How many have we got left? One. Oh, just two more things. Let's have a look what else I've got. Um, I've got some sparkly flowers. Shall we use them? One on there and one on that one so there we go just a little bit of something on each of them save all these now for my december daily let's just put them back in there i might pick up a few more bits oh, in fact you know what i've got here what i thought might be nice to go in my other journal i've got some little robins because it's like botanically sort of well it's yeah it's a bit eclectic again really i'm using a couple of kits not sure that I like them very much so I think I'm going to have a little robin on one of them looking for one that's yeah we'll stick him on there that little robin and we'll put that in there just do something a little bit different right let's put them back in this little tray and then I can keep them put them back up on my shelf and let's glue these down I've also got these leaves as well I'm not keen on that one on there I wonder whether to put some Let's put some leaves on instead of that one. I'm not really keen on them. This is just, I picked this up in Wilco's for anybody that's in the UK. It's just a leaf trim. Really nice. Right, let's stick all these bits and pieces down then. Oh, I've lost everything. Yeah, put that one on there because it's a bit bigger. Right, just get my three in one glue and we'll stick these bits down. I'm quite pleased with them, they turned out okay haven't they? Like I said, I'm going to take that dimensional sticker off there because it's too puffy. Just put some glue on, you could use buttons, you could use paper, you could use paper embellishments, you can use whatever you've got in your stash. But I bought all these for doing, for these, this reason really, to do my snippet and to do my December daily I'll probably end up picking up some more little bits I've used quite a lot of them on this journal put that holly in the middle there and then this little bow it just finishes them off I think doesn't it putting something in the middle there like that and then this flower some of these paper flowers are rubbish to be honest I mean they were only part they weren't expensive but the leaves are not brilliant on them but they'll be okay for on here 
that flower there and then we'll put this little bit of leaf trim just see if I can stick that down I've just filled up my three in one so it's nice and full right and another little bow on this one yeah so save all your scraps guys and just make these with them little clusters or snippet roll great way to use your bits and pieces right so let's swap them over just put them down here oh that's not sticking oh it's only sticking to my fingers <laughs> um, that one needs sticking is that one done that one's done that one's done that's not done that one's done that one's done, that one's done. I can't remember which ones I've done now. I've mixed them all up. Silly me. Never mind, we'll sort it. Right, I'm just taking the little dimensional stickers off the back. very cold today where I am. I've got the heating on all day today. Yeah, it's freezing. I hate being cold, do you? I don't like being too warm, but I don't like being cold. I'd rather be warm than hot, uh, hot than cold. Okay, I'll stick that bit of holly on there. Like that, stick this little bird on. This. it's only very thin chipboard this so it should stay on with just a bit of three in one and let's stick this one in I'm just going to put a bit of ink around the edge of this one it's just a little bit too white it's better just take off that thing Oh dear me, I've got glue all stuck to my fingers. Right, last one I think this is, isn't it? Okay, and let's stick that one on there. I'm just going to hold it for a minute. Right at the end of my glue. Right, so have we stuck everything down now? I think so. Oh no, we've not done this one. I've stuck them all down now just put a bit more glue on that holly leaf there then they don't come off yeah so that's it then guys that's the um what we've done out of the snippet roll so get all your scrappy bits and pieces out and yeah just start gluing and if you've not got a sewing machine then just put a bit more glue on you know when you're gluing them or just sort of do a scruffy hand stitch all down the middle just to keep your okay then guys so that's my little project done for today as always thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i'll be back soon guys so take care bye